Hello, I'm Lewis, and today I'll be showing you how to make your very own 3D printable GPS tracker using the Electromaker GPS Tracker Kit. The GPS tracker is great for many outdoor pursuits, such as walking, cycling. You can also, if you're feeling adventurous, attach it to your cat and see where it gets to whilst it's out of sight. If you'd like to build your own GPS tracker, then you can order the Electromaker kit, which includes everything you need here, by following the link up in the corner or clicking the order kit button on the Electromaker project page. On the same page, you can find links to download the code that you'll need to run on this, as well as the 3D files for printing the enclosure and various attachments. The kit contains a Tiny Circuits GPS development board, a flash memory shield for where we can store our data, a Tiny Duino, the main processing board, a USB shield, which we'll use to upload our code and recharge the lithium battery, a 3.7 volt, 70 milliamp hour lithium battery, and two M3 by six screws. Your kit will have three in there. We've included an extra one as a spare, just in case you lose one. There are two parts to the main housing which you will need to print. The first part is the inside of the body and holds the electronics. It's not a large print, so I printed mine with a layer height of 0.15 mm in PLA plastic. The second part is the outer enclosure which protects the components inside. Again, I printed mine at 0.15 mm. Whilst you print these two parts, we can start assembling some of the electronics together. These boards have very easy to use push connections to allow us to easily stack them. The order they are stacked in does not affect how the circuit will work, but we need to stack them with the main processor board on the bottom, followed by the flash memory board, and then finally the GPS module. This is so that they will fit comfortably into the housing you're printing. For the time being, we'll also add the USB board to the very top. This will be used to program the Tiny Duino and charge the battery. After we finish programming the board, we'll remove the USB shield again so as to keep the circuit as small as possible whilst we're out and about using the tracker. Once you have finished assembling the boards together, Connect it with a USB cable to your PC and then we can start the Arduino IDE and begin uploading the code. We need to configure a few things before we can upload the code though. You'll need the SPI flash library. To get this, open the Arduino IDE and then open your library manager under the sketch tab. And search for SPI memory. Click install to install the library. The settings required to connect and upload to the board correctly are board type of Arduino Pro or Arduino Pro Mini and the processor 80 mega 328p at 3.3 volts and 8 megahertz. You'll find the code for this project on its project page on electromaker.io. There are two small LEDs opposite the USB port marked TX and RX for transmit and receive. These will flash whilst you are communicating with the board via its USB port. Once you've uploaded the code for this project, open the serial monitor and set its board speed to 115200. Now restart your tiny Duino board by switching it off and on again, or re-upload the code. The board starts with an option to enter read mode by sending the letter Y through the serial console for yes. If you do nothing for 10 seconds, then the board will enter write mode and begin tracking GPS waypoints. After you have sent the letter Y through the serial monitor, it will offer three options. Option one, read to serial monitor. This will print all of the data waypoints to the serial monitor on the Arduino IDE. We'll use this after we've tracked a trip to download the data and plot it onto a map. Option two, erase all of the data. 
Once you've downloaded the data, you can use this to clear the flash memory. Option three, exit read mode. If you select this, the tracker will begin immediately recording GPS waypoints. Let's erase all of the data it may have collected whilst we were preparing the electronics by choosing option two. So let's connect and charge our lithium battery. Check that the power switch is off on the side of the board and connect your lithium battery. With the USB cable still providing power, the orange charge light should light up on the main board confirming the battery is charging. Once the charge is complete, the light will turn off. After the charge has completed, we can remove the USB board from the top of the stack and place the circuit into its housing that we've been 3D printing. Note that the orientation of the bottom board does matter. It needs to be inserted with the stacking clips towards the back when looking at it, with the pointed end of the enclosure pointing away from you. This should allow you to carefully curl the GPS antenna round and onto its platform. We can then add the lid of the enclosure. The lid features a very thin layer of plastic over the antenna to help protect it while still allowing it to receive GPS signals. This, however, does not make it entirely waterproof. This is then fixed in place with one of the included screws. We can now print any of the attachment options that you might want to use. I've included a dimensioned drawing of the bottom of the tracker on the Electromaker project page in case you'd like to design any attachments of your own. I've printed all three of the attachment options in PLA with a layer height of 0.15mm and an infill of 25%. The clip attachment was also printed with a brim as it stands on its end whilst being printed. The GoPro compatible foot is attached with one of the screws and can be used to mount it on helmets, cars or any other GoPro like fixtures. The strap connector is great for attaching to materials, such as the collar of a pet or your belt. The clip attachment is great for easily attaching it to clothing, such as your pocket or rucksack. Let's pop outside quickly and take this for a test drive. Now that we've got some test data to work with, let's make a cup of tea, sit down again at the PC and plot this data onto a map. Add the USB board back to the top of the stack and plug the tracker into your PC and start the Arduino IDE. Open the serial monitor and switch on your tracker. And you should see the same options menu we used earlier. If not, just re-upload the code. Your GPS points are saved on the flash memory and won't be overwritten. When the menu arrives, send the character Y to enter read mode. And then send a 1 to read the GPS data back to the serial monitor. We'll start by highlighting all of these lines of data. And then paste them into a new plain text document. There are a few lines here near the top where we didn't have a sufficient GPS signal to record useful information. We'll remove these lines now. We then need to add a new header line on the top of the document which tells the following tool how to interpret the data. I've put a copy of this line at the top of the Arduino program for you to copy and paste from. Save the plain text file as a document with the extension .txt and we'll head over to gpsvisualizer.com. Choose the Choose File button and choose the document you saved earlier. And for this example, we'll set Google Maps as the output. Press Map it and the website, if all goes well, shall return to you a map of your route. Don't forget to raise the data before you switch off your tracker. That way, it's ready for your next trip out. I hope you're having a great time thinking of all the ways you can use your new project. Let us know in the comments what ideas you've come up with. If you'd like to build one of your own and you don't have the required electronic parts, then don't forget you can order a kit through Electromaker. Check out the project page where you'll find links to order the kit there. 
Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube so you can be notified when we release more project build videos. Otherwise, until next time, ciao for now.